Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen. And I'm D'Angelo for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Guys, our friend Scott in La Fortuna runs a cooking class. Uh, we've done a couple videos for him. We're doing some recipe videos. And today he's going to walk us through another one of those recipe videos. Today is going to be gallo pinto. Yeah, which is a, staple. a staple of Costa Rican food. So anyway, here's Scott. Hey guys, I'm Scott Allen and welcome back to Tropical Cooking Costa Rica. We're here at the, the Mirador La Rustica, uh, underneath the Arnal Volcano in La Fortuna, Costa Rica. I'm here with uh, my chef Milton, and he's going to help us today with uh, a real core dish of Costa Rica, and uh, that's gallo pinto. Very uh, simple dish that, that, that has a lot of basic ingredients. We're going to add one uh, extra fun ingredient at the end that's our own. So right now Milton is going to start this up. We're going to put some butter right into a saucepan. We're going to add some garlic. And we're going to start cooking that right up. Now, one thing I always like to do when I use garlic, I like to cook the garlic for a few minutes. For me, it, it really lets the flavor of the garlic come out much more into the butter, into the oil, whatever it is that you're using. Uh, also in this, fairly quickly, you've added the, the, the bacon. Okay, bacon's really, really important at this dish because it's going to add a lot of flavor. Uh, it's the only meat that is in this rice and beans dish. So we're going to let our bacon cook for a while. You can see we've also prepared a few other things. The next thing we're going to put in is we're going to add uh, the chili dulce or the red pepper, uh, a green pepper, red or green pepper, it's the same. We've got about a, a half a cup of that. We're going to do about a half a cup as well of onion. There we go. Now we're going to toss that in the pan a little bit. This is a pretty easy dish to make. Now, rice and beans, that's a whole other show, okay? So we've cooked our rice and we've cooked our beans. You can get a great quality canned bean if you like, a black bean or a red bean and use with your rice and beans. And of course, you can get a, a, any kind of rice that you like, go ahead and cook that up. And you're gonna, you're gonna keep those separate. It's really important to cook the rice with the ingredients first because these ingredients are gonna, those flavors are gonna absorb into the rice. Milton's going to go ahead and put in the black beans. This is kind of a call if you like a lot of beans or you like more rice, you like less beans in the dish. So at this point, we're almost done. We're going to put a little bit of salt, okay? So we're going to taste it with a little bit of salt. This is actually very delicious, just like it is, but this isn't gallo pinto, okay? This makes it gallo pinto, okay? We have salsa lisano. Uh, Lisano is the brand name, and it's a sauce that is uh, truly a staple. It's, it, it, it's, it's probably more of a staple than salt and pepper. It's on every table, in every restaurant, in every home. Um, and it is a key uh, ingredient and flavor for gallo pinto. So now we're going to add this. And uh, this is a to flavor thing as well. We're going to put about probably three to four uh, tablespoons um, in this. So one, two, three, four. There we go. This, by the way, a good point to make, is not spicy. It's, uh, it's incredibly uh, spiceful, but it's not spicy. So it has a lot of different spices in it, a lot of great flavors, a little bit of a curry flavor going on. Here's your gallo pinto. We have one final ingredient, and we're going to put in our cilantro, culantro, or coriander, okay? Now, this you want to do the very last thing because you want it to keep the color, first of all. Put a little bit more in there. The flavor is fresh. It's going to act, just go right on top of the rest of the gallo pinto. And there we are. We're going to go ahead and plate this up and uh, show you guys what it looks like. To serve the gallo pinto, we serve it in a cup. And we serve it up like this, okay? Now, you can have this with bacon or eggs. You can have this with toast. You can really do anything with this. But a lot of people eat it just like this, okay? And here it is, guys, our gallo pinto. We've added a little bit of fresh avocado to give it a little bit of extra pizzazz. And um, this is very traditional. So if you want to try some traditional Costa Rican food, come down and see us here in Costa Rica. We're here waiting. So where are you? Okay, hasta luego. Check this out, guys. Look at that. Nice gallo pinto. Nice and hot, ready to eat. Mm. Very yummy. Okay, so seriously, you're coming to Costa Rica, you're going to want to take this class for some of this delicious food. That's Taz. He likes the Pinto. He's very Costa Rican. Taz is looking for a new home, and his friends are too. 
So you guys are coming down here. Come check out Taz and some of his friends.